Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. The royal lawyers are on standby. It's being reported. They're ready to roll on against the BBC of all organizations. The BBC are in a bit of trouble now, are they? Very well they are, apparently. So the royal lawyers are on standby. It's all over this new documentary that is uh, being released at the moment, and it's perhaps been, I've heard, even being put on hold. So so I'm reading, it's been put on hold. So we're going to look into this today. The royal family apparently have released a multi, from what I understand, a multi-house statement, which is quite unusual, uh, saying that there's, you know, people are talking a lot of unfounded rubbish. So let's go, <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, of course, they didn't use those words, but in any event, Let's ask, how do the royal feel, the royals, how do the royals feel about what's happening now? Number one, we're going to look into that, and then we're going to move on towards perhaps some pending legal action against the BBC. We'll see. We'll see what's happening behind the scenes. Let's have a look. What is going on? If you have a question for a future video, let it be known in the comments below. If you would like to support the channel, go ahead and join Team Famous Fortunes. How do the royals feel about this? Let's ask. Cards are hot. We have six of swords, four of wands, high priestess, ace of swords, and the queen of wands, underlying energy, queen of cups. Okay, very interesting. We have a lot of female cards here. Uh, female energy on the cards. Interesting how the royals feel. It looks like they want to move away from this uh, situation. I think they're trying to move on or move away from the chit-chat or the uh, the royal BS that's being spewed by the BBC, allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, in any event, that's what I'm seeing here. It also looks like they're trying to remain, interestingly enough, they're trying to remain fairly tight-lipped about this. I think there is, I think they feel a line's been crossed into things that really, uh, it really shouldn't be discussed on a public level and are not really relevant i think to the public's to, to the public discourse i think they're trying to remain as silent as possible about this i think i get that strong feeling here they're trying to remain as silent as possible and to take on i think trying to take on they they, they want to they want to set the record straight i think here I, I i see that the sword of truth is out here setting the record straight there's going to be a bit of that happening but this is interesting. Queen of Wands and a Queen of Cups. Interesting. Are they concerned? Is there some concern about some of the royal women in some of the things that may be said? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe some of the royal women are concerned themselves with how things are going on. Or how things are going, rather. Interesting. Very interesting cards. I, I'm not sure what, what that relevance is, but we do see a lot of that royal female presence on the cards, and I find that quite interesting. How the royals feel when we get female royals coming up. That's something quite interesting, more so than the male royals. So the concern is either from the female royals more so, or directed the concern is for the female royals, Something along those lines. Very interesting cards. Wonder why that is. It's quite interesting. Very, very clear cards, in fact, on that particular topic. So let's segue into what agenda the BBC may have against the Royals. What is actually going on here? Uh, are they getting a bit out of hand, perhaps? Well, who knows? It's probably not for me to say, but uh, do they have an agenda against the Royals? Because that's something that I think needs to be asked at this point. Uh, let's ask that question. Let's have that conversation today here on Famous Fortunes. Right here, right now.
You may, it just makes you wonder, what conversations are they having behind closed doors at the BBC? Uh, what is going on with all that? As far as I'm aware, correct me if I'm wrong, the, the, the BBC is a taxpayer, taxpayer-funded public organisation in the United Kingdom. Makes you think. <laughs> really makes you think. What will it, That's why we're asking the question. What agenda do they have against the royals? Maybe they don't have any, of course. Maybe they don't have any agenda. We're always willing to accept all possibilities here on Famous Fortunes, that's for sure. Cards are hot. What agenda did the BBC have? Ace of Pentacles. Oh, talking about funding. There it is. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. The Star. The Hierophant. Okay, so the Royals are on the cards for the agenda. The Devil. Oh, boy. Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Okay, all right. Where's the devil jar time? This is uh, two from two now, two episodes in a row. We have the devil on the cards. The devil jar, of course, is getting a workout today. Because every time we see the devil in certain royal spreads, we like to uh, pay our respects to our devil swear jar. And there it goes. So, they have an agenda, um, uh, an agenda towards the royals. Now, I'm going to um, state here, this is obviously an opinion and not a statement of fact. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who would, uh, who would think that tarot readers would make statements of fact. Who in, who in their right mind would think that? In any event... It looks like they have a fairly malicious agenda against the royal family here with the devil card. I think this is a... Uh, there's a certain, I think, degree of malignancy at the at the BBC. Uh, in terms of the devil, it's this is not good. I can tell you right now, if I was reading... You know, say, for example, if I was reading tarot cards for the royal family, you know, someone came to me... Famous fortunes. Read on. Read our. Read our fortune in terms of the BBC. We have our suspicions, but I can say suspicions confirmed. They do not have your best interests at heart, and I would. I would be very, very cautious dealing with the BBC going forward. No wonder they're getting the lawyers are on standby. That's all I can say. No wonder. And of course, this is all one. You know, one. You know, humble tarot readers reading of the cards, opinion of the cards, but when you see the devil throw down right next to a hierophant asking what the BBC's intentions are, you know it's not good. All right? It's probably it's probably one of the worst spreads that we could have hoped for. So, this is the 180 degree opposite of the best spread we could have hoped for. There's a problem at the BBC. Can someone actually confirm who's funding the BBC? Because it's, I'd like to know. Uh, who, who funds those guys? They have a, there's a real agenda against them. There's a real agenda against the royal family going on at the BBC. There's, and and um, look, is it, to be fair, I mean, is it the entirety of the BBC? You know, the people, you know, sweeping the floors at the BBC, you know, adamant anti-royalists. I, I highly doubt that's the case. So let's use some common sense, some degree of common sense. It's not the BBC themselves. I, I would imagine that's their internal policy. Correct me if I'm wrong, to have an agenda against the royal family. I don't think it's in their policies and procedures. So, you know, anyone out there is getting a little bee in their bonnet, then just, you know, go ahead and take a chill pill. All right. But there is seemingly some bad vibes coming from the BBC towards the royal family. And this is a chronic issue. This is a, this is a real issue here. There's no doubt about this. I don't say this lightly uh, as a reader, of course. My humble opinion of the cards is that there's a bit of a problem. 
there's a bit of a problem here. Again, Queen of Swords, this, this is a theme that's coming up here. Women are involved. The, the females, is it the females of the royals? I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. This is actually not for me to say, but I think... What I would say is that there's some very, very harsh words in store for the royals. Harsh things are going to be said and unnecessary criticism will be spewed, let's say. So there you go. If I was a royal and I saw this spread or I had a royal in front of me, they asked, or anyone in front of me, they asked, hey, what's the go? Not looking good. I would William say no this in a heartbeat. <laughs> that's what that's what my approach would be. I'd be like, this is this can't this can't happen. This can't happen. You can't. How can you have a? <laughs> how can you have the 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 public broadcaster take such a stance towards the country's own royal family? I, I'm not sure how this happens, but hey, what world are we living in? <laughs> what, what is this? What, what is this? This is just unbelievable. These pentacle cards. We speak. We spoke to funding, but I don't know. Something's going on here in the Pentacle department. Again, I can't speak to that, but there's a there's a hint of something here. Not sure what that's all about. Perhaps the Royals may know something that we don't. I, I would imagine that's probably quite accurate. The Star. It, I think they want to, a part of their agenda is to tarnish the um, reputations a little bit. I think that there's a, there might be an agenda in that regard. At least, you know, when we see the star, that, that sort of royal celebrity status, which is why they form part of our interest on Famous Fortunes. We look at, you know, royal celebrities, well-known people, well-known events, all that type of thing. And we don't really read on people no one knows about because that's not what we do here. That's not the Famous Fortunes way. In fact, uh, so let it be known that the star and in the Hierophant, the devil, this triple combination if you like it's 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 a very bad omen here this is a very i want to wrap this up this particular this particular spread up by saying these are very very negative and ominous cards for the royal families you know in, in terms of how they're going to be treated by the bbc this is a very very bad omen okay and i would say that my you know as, as a tarot reader i'd say this to the to to um to the royal family, perhaps they might need to look at this quite seriously. That's what I would say. This is this is a real problem. So, in any event, I'm sure they're great people. I'm sure they're great people, and uh, who knows? But in any, <laughs> in any event, I mean, who knows? I'm sure they're all fantastic. I'm sure they have everyone's best interests at heart. <laughs> Not. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Are the Royals going to take legal action against the BBC? Let's let's have a look now. Are the royal lawyers are the royal family gonna take legal action against the BBC? What's happening? Wow, we haven't seen a bad omen like that on the cards. Quite, that's quite a bad omen, I have to say. Not to be understated how serious that is. Clear and present problem. So, the Royals taking action against the legal action against the BBC, let's find out. Cards are hot. The Magician, Ace of Wands, Six of Cups, 
Knight of Swords and Ace of Cups, Underlying Energy, King of Pentacles and the Empress. Right, so again, there's this idea of a female uh, royal involved. This is perhaps the Queen. Perhaps it's coming from the top. I'd say the King of Pentacles here would be... I'm going to guess this is Charles and the Queen together. This is coming from the top of the family here. No doubt. There's no doubt about this. I thought, you know, from the previous spread or two that there's a serious... I, I, I wonder if they're worried about attacks on the Queen. That's what I would... That's what I think may be the case here. Uh, I think they have some stern words for the uh, BBC happening. I think there may be there may be correspondence. There's going to be warnings, even I think stern warnings to um, to perhaps not pursue the path that they're on. I think they're going to try and do what they can here against the BBC. I don't see. You know what? I don't see is legal action. I don't see. Um, I don't see there is this isn't going to go to court I don't think but I do see that they may try and well, let's say foster I think there's a certain will to foster a relationship here with the BBC maybe an off make them an offer of sorts not for, this isn't a financial offer but there's a, an offer here on the table. And it looks like they're going to try and sort of... Um, I'm going to use the word br or words, bring them back into the fold, I think, a little bit here. I think they might have some stern words for them as well, but I think there's going to be some... I think a carrot and a stick uh, uh, kind of thing, that's what I'm seeing here. Stern words, but, you know, a kind offer. <laughs> Something like that. Is that their royal style? Maybe it is. I don't know enough about the royals, but in any event, it sounds... It, could be true <laughs> in any event just by what i'm hearing so king of pentacles the empress come from the top no doubt so okay no legal action i don't think so the lawyers are on standby no doubt but are they going to actually get to work uh i don't think that's what we're going to see i don't i do not think we're going to see that so let that be known now the question i have it just went through my mind. And it's just slipped my mind. It'll come back to me. We've looked at... We've looked at... This is a bonus question now. Are they going to take legal action? Does the BBC have an agenda? How do the royals feel? We've looked at those things. I had a question lined up and it's just slipped my mind. Hmm. Yes, that was the question. Thank you. It, the <laughs> thank you. So the uh, the question is: Are the BBC working with any external or outside individuals or organisations? Let's ask that. Is there any sort of partnership that's happening with the BBC with external parties that we should be aware of given this episode and what we've seen on the cards. Cards are hot. King of Wands. Okay, that's interesting. The Sun. Hanged Man. Knight of Wands. The Moon. Underlying Energy, Seven of Swords. And the Hierophant. Oh boy. Okay, so... There's two, there's two interesting parties here on the cards. You can probably see them already. 
The underlying energy here is the Seven of Swords and the Hierophant. So there's, it, it's, it's a sneaky energy here. Sneaky, going behind the backs of the Royals, that type of thing. The Moon here is a not a good omen. Again, the Sun and the Moon. So this is actually, look, let's just, let's just get this on the table. This is an extremely clear spread. They're working sort of in, in broad daylight, if you like. They're working with Prince William in some way. I think there's one, there's a, there's a certain agenda here to, to sort of do things above board with Prince William. But then I also see that there's on the flip side, literally on the flip side, there is a hidden agenda to work with somebody else. And I do think that that somebody else here is represented by the Knight of Wands. Who has the Knight of Wands historically been on Famous Fortunes? The Knight of Wands. That pairs, interestingly, with the King of Wands. Of course, you've got someone here that's higher, slightly higher in rank. Maybe he's a little bit older than this Knight. Maybe he's older. Maybe he outranks him in some way. But they seem to be of the same suit, of the same kind, even. Who might this Knight of Wands be? Dare I say, dare I say, is there some, is there, is the BBC colluding with Prince Harry? Now that is an interesting question. Dare I ask it? Is the BBC working in secret with Prince Harry? Now, if, if, a, if one of the members of the royal family was sitting in front of me right now, this would be a very interesting question to ask themselves. Are they working with Prince Harry behind the scenes? So they've got one, it's like two-faced, you know, literally, look at this, the sun and the moon. You know, one face towards Prince William and the other face in secret to Prince Harry. I, I wonder... If that is the case, could it be the case? Is that even possible? Or is this all just the imaginings of a crazy man? I will leave that thought with you. Let us know what you think of that in the comments. And I'll see you in the comment section.